Okay, so, you know, you kind of talked about it before, um, Greg, and it's kind of come up a couple of times, you know, again, God plays a huge part in your life. Um, I don't know if everyone knows, but you're an ordained minister and you do have a lot of philanthropy things that you kind of um, mix in with your faith. I'd love to kind of understand just a little bit and how that plays into and maybe even just let us know some of the philanthropy stuff that you do. And just, um, you know, it's obviously it's very interesting. You know what I mean? Like you're, you know, again, they, that it's something that's, one, you know, so much part of you and everyone around here and, uh, and then listens on KFAN. We know that about yourself. And I know like, um, and I'll let you kind of explain it, but after the games, you do stuff with players. And so I'd love just to kind of chat a little bit about that because um, I think it's fascinating and I love watching. Well, that. at a very young age, uh, you know, my family was, you know, in church, I knew church growing up, uh, but it wasn't until I went to a FCA camp, FCA, Fellowship of Christian Athletes, uh, back in Rome, Georgia, back in the days where brothers didn't hang out in Rome, Georgia, okay, in the South. <laughs> but um, we established a FCA huddle group at my high school, and about 15 of us went to uh, Berry College up in Rome, Georgia, and uh, just dominated with everything. And then they had some great speakers, some college uh, players and pro uh, guys from NBA, you know, professional wrestlers and football that would come in and talk about having that personal relationship with Christ, what that meant, leaning on him uh, to to direct and guide your path. Uh, so that didn't take much uh, because, I again, I had fiber. Uh, I had the remnants of what my family had taught me uh, about God and faith. And faith plays, even today, plays a huge part in my life. And, you know, Matthew 17, 20, it says, if you have the faith the size of a mustard seed, you can move mountains. And I've had plenty of mountains in my life. And, and it's that faith, it's that little bit of faith. And, and, and even now, when I get an opportunity to, to address uh, our guys, our players, or other teams, I would always leave them with a little, a little vial. We don't have one right in here. But... Uh, a little mustard seed, a little jar with a mustard seed in it. And, you know, keep it in your pocket. And when things get tough, just look at that mustard seed. And, you know, when, you, when you're facing that giant, when you're facing that mountain, whatever that might be, facing that disappointment, just look at that mustard seed and, and be reminded of what that scripture says, that if you have faith the size of a mustard seed, you can move mountains. And, you know, it's, it's part of who I am. Uh, I can I can remember vividly uh, Paul Allen during our pregame um, that segment right before kickoff it was called Coleman Keys to the Game and one day I, I don't know if he had heard me in chapel or speaking or something but uh, he knew my faith he knew that I you know was was in the ministry. Uh, associate pastor over at, over at a church in St. Paul. And he said, now we're going to go down for the Coleman keys. Now we're going to go down to the, for the pregame preach and thus created this phenomena uh, prior to Viking kickoffs uh, where I give my views on the upcoming opponent, the game of players, what we have to do. And I tie faith and football in to that 45 seconds right before kickoff. And I throw it back to him. Thus, over the last number of years, that has created an amazing following uh, of people of faith and those that are not of faith. But, so, man, you get me so jacked up. You get me so motivated. Hey, listen, faith in, 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 in your spirituality doesn't have to be dormant, doesn't have to be boring. I mean, you know, there, there are many, many great men and women in the Bible, man, who were excited and, and live with passion. And, I, and that's what I choose to do. And uh, that is a segue. Uh, those segments on the pregame preach will be uh, the genesis of a devotional uh, here coming up soon. Because people are always saying, hey, man, where's where can we find that? Oh, man, I want to hear that again. What was that scripture? What did you talk about? You know, you talk about, you know, Goliath slaying the giants, you know, when we play the giants. And you know, the, when we play the lions, you know, you know, David in the in the den of lions. You know, and, and, and I've always been fascinated with lions. And I'm going to post a picture here one day because I, I came face to face with a lion on, on one of my uh, safari trips to Africa. They're one of the most amazing animals in the world. And and I've always wanted to do it. And I mean, I got face to face with a lion. And, and there, there's no other feeling like it. So uh, 
I, I still have the opportunity. I'm so blessed to work with our chaplain, Tom Lamphere. Uh, with our players, with our staff, with our coaches, because these men may be gladiators in a football uniform in a jersey. But when they take that off, they have problems at home. When they cut, they bleed, and they need someone there to give them guidance, give them direction, give them support according to the word of God. And 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 that's just the ministry piece is just so important uh, for me and my wife so and my entire family. 